Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. This episode is a very special episode. We have our normal hosts and then our new, I think almost basically permanent host at this point, Bernard. Hello. AKA Welcome back. AKA Chubby Emu, the internet's favorite doctor who shows you how you could die if you do the things that you think about. You know, you know the, what do you call the invasive thoughts? Like, what if I ate this whole jar of <laughs> vitamins? What would happen? You know, like, are you going to... When Kevin and I try to make cotton candy out of Flintstone vitamins, that's a way to trick kids into eating <laughs> oh. their vitamins. And imagine if they got into the stash. But now we know. God, I wish that stuff worked out, man. I really wanted I to try the, the sour cotton candy. It's impossible to turn uh, Flintstone vitamins into cotton candy. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I want to share. I want to share a comment that I read. I think that we should start this episode off with some positivity. This is a, um, a comment to kind of get us going. You know, the I'm, audience I'm, I'm is the scared. best part of this podcast. It's not us. We don't need hosts. You just need viewers. Even if we didn't make podcasts, you could have the viewers sit for an hour and a half just staring at a screen imagining the podcast existed. Um, I'm not going to read the name. I mean, I could. It's not bad. It's more funny. Bro, Will or Zach, start linking your Patreon to videos and this channel. There is zero links other than that in the last video where you guys mentioned it. Come on. Run this channel better. I want this channel to be successful as I love it, but you guys are running it into the ground. This is like, you know, when your parents are not, they're not mad at you, but they're disappointed. It's like the worst way to make your parents upset. And you kind um, of know that, he, that he's right, maybe. Right. You guys barely promoted it. Look at Trash Taste. They started their podcast around the same time and their viewership is much higher. A million views for every episode. Now we're being what? compared to our sister. Like your sister is is like oh. getting better grades and is going to law school. And look at you. Look, at you're just you're a doctor, but you make YouTube videos. You're a chemist, but you make YouTube videos. Uh, Kevin, you're a dropout, but you make YouTube videos. <laughs> It I've never going. even heard of Trash Taste, to be honest. I so went like, and watched it after, um, but... I thought it was cool. Even though the host's individual channels have way less view count than yours combined, they never stop promoting it. So every individual viewer of each of their channels knows about their combined podcast. Alan, Kever, Kevin, Peter, Will, and Nigel barely promote this podcast. I have literally never promoted it. What do you mean <laughs> barely promoted it? I promoted it <laughs> once. Oh, you know, yeah. I put Twice. it in my community posts. Uh, I, my Nigel defense is I haven't post posted... I haven't posted a video, so. <laughs> All right, it keeps going. Um, <laughs> My opportunities were very few. We never promote it while Joey Grant and Connor promote Trash Taste in almost every video on their individual channels. Even their guests talk about Trash Taste on their own channels. That's broadening exposure and viewership. Come on, guys. <laughs> you know. Kevin promoted Ooh. it, though. Kevin, Kevin is the, the best out of all of us. He is. I just pr I promote it on Twitter. I okay. who are Who is Trash Taste? Trash taste, hey, anyway. It's like an anime. Yeah, clearly they're not promoting enough to Kevin. Oh, yeah. The, oh, the, the anime, anime man. guy, right? The, For Kevin uh, to hear it. Yeah. Who yeah, watches? The, who here watches anime? Bernard, do you watch anime? I don't. I don't either. What? Thank you, Even Kevin. though I make anime jokes about my hair or whatever. Like, I, I, the only one I've ever seen was Dragon Ball Z. That counts. But, like, the English version, right? The dubbed? Or the, yeah, the dubbed version. The, yeah. yeah. Although there was a long time ago where the Dragon Ball GT was playing back in like the nineties on like cable in Japanese. It was yeah. good. But like I sub. didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> oh, not even subbed. No, it wasn't subbed. And then what? uh it, it used to be Sunday night, they would play it, and then Armored Trooper Votoms would play right before it. I forgot what the channel was, but it was like this bizarre what? like Illinois japanese channel that you got on cable oh. i think I, we weren't even supposed to oh, have weird. it we had it <laughs> it was like a bug i assume nobody was gonna watch it because you couldn't understand it yeah um i uh i don't know dude anime is like it's so easy to watch and it's so like forgettable it's like brain dead i, I think that's why i like it i have this theory I, I mean i think kevin's gonna be probably only the major contributor of this theory do you watch sub or dub Look at we're becoming trash taste. That's sort of the uh, my God. takeaway from that. Comment. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, I actually have watched about twenty minutes of one of their podcasts. So I don't really know entirely what they do, but <laughs> all right for sub or dub. Uh, it's funny. I'm so tired when you said, "Do you watch sub or dub?" I was like, "That's literally like a if, thing." If it's a an actual live action TV show or movie, I watch the sub. I watch the uh, the sub. If it's an anime, I will watch the dub. Why? 
Live wait because I, like a live what live action Japanese match. stuff have you watched? No, I like but like no like a movie in a different language like a you oh. know a Korean movie or something like that. I'll watch the the sub, but if it's a TV show like an animated one, I'll watch the I'll watch the dub because it's like the Why? when the translation is wrong to their mouth like if the subs if the subtitles in the actual language like uh, dub mess up, I can't watch it. So I have to watch the the sub without the dub so oh oh but i mean like if you're watching a foreign film you would rather it be yeah. dubbed but then the mouths don't line up no i'd, I'd rather about? it be sub oh you wrote you with the foreign film you want sub but the anime you want dubbed, dubbed. yeah wait, but the foreign film get... then you're just gonna read the text wait do you mean it backwards you no no so like film? say you're watching a movie like okay. uh i don't know old old I'm old watching, boy or something uh, yeah uh uh what's the oldest movie ever made i'm trying to think it's like uh, sharknado I don't know, 4 but i'm watching sharknado so 4. so say like the subtitles the guy says oh i'm going to kill you and then the like the voice actor says uh i'm going to make you wish you were never born <laughs> and then you know they'll both we don't like, watch whoever the does subs the and subs the dubs and whoever time. does well i always like to have the subtitles on oh that's okay. just yeah, it just helps and also ADHD. like the this, the voice never matches the scene. Like no matter how good the voice actors are, it just never messes like matches the rest of the scene or the rest of the yeah. tone. I hate dubs, really bad. Hey, do, do you? you um, so there's uh, like on YouTube, yeah. there's these channels who they'll do like you know uh, something in Espanol, right? So they'll dub their own videos or, or they'll hire somebody to dub the videos for them. I, like I remember a couple years back, they were saying that in like Russian YouTube, you want to dub it because it's just that much more popular over there. So you want to you make that? a YouTube English YouTube video dubbed with Russian. Yeah. Because I've seen like Creosan will do a Russian YouTube video dubbed with English, and I it's like it works, but it's also kind of a different viewing experience, right? It's almost like yeah, a Thomas Frank does it. I, I think I, I, he he used to do it at least, but there was like a like he would be talking in English, and you can kind of hear the English and the volume's really low, but then like there's somebody just speaking Russian, and it, it's like to me it it's like I I don't know I find it kind of bizarre, but uh, like if it reaches more people, then why not, right? Right. Yeah. I just think like if you if you sit down and you're given the choice to like watch, I mean, I can't believe you guys don't watch any anime. What about like Full Metal Alchemist? Like, there's some classics that are just. I don't like, like that. What? Did you watch? I it? like. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that type of anime. I don't like I like slice of life animes. I don't like the the action really? ones. I like yeah, the robot. I like the giant fighting robot anime. Though that's my least favorite what? kind of anime. Oh I'll my never god! Watch. Friendship Sandra, ended with Kevin. My girlfriend anime that's all she is watches. my new best friend. Yes, Sandra is my new best friend. <laughs> I can't do it. She watches like you know Evangelon and oh all those god. other I, like it's like garbage, which is why I like it though. Okay, it's here's good my for, theory. like having on in the background maybe. That I like subtitles on Japanese anime because the anime is so like because anime is so stupid. The subtitles help suspend disbelief, and it also keeps you from constantly staring at the image on the screen. So it almost makes the the show feel more dynamic and more moving, because bad animation can be hidden by subtitles because you have to pay attention to the subtitles. Does that make any sense? Like, imagine imagine in English. It's like, we must get to the quantum reactor core before it explodes, and then my oh, grandmother God. is going to die as she's obliterated into a thousand pieces. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It sounds stupid. But if it's subtitled, it talks about the quantum core. It's almost like a different universe. And so you don't have... It's like the suspension of disbelief is so much stronger. Yeah, How I think I actually agree with you there. going to be at this point in the video? Dude, I don't... No, I, I feel like I... Generally, I think subtitles are people's preferred viewing experience. I think that's like the I think so too. The French film, like subtitles are the way to go because the English dubs a lot of times can do. Remember people complaining about Squid Game subtitles, or I think you guys were talking about it. Were you talking about the grandpa or something? Oh, it's terrible. I no, I mind put on this is I yeah. think I think subs are objectively better, and the only reason you'd watch a dub is because yes. you're willing to put up with it being worse because you don't want to have to for example like read well not necessarily like for example maybe i can't read good 
if I'm if let's say I had to edit. Gotcha. Yeah, let's uh, say okay. theoretically no. I had to edit. No, no. Or work on the what? computer. Fine, just work How on the computer. How could you possibly edit and watch a TV show at the same time? <laughs> well, I definitely can't read subtitles at the same time. <laughs> okay, am I crazy? I've tried. Anyone, it doesn't work. Else, it, that, is that anyone doesn't else work. on the same page as Nigel, where you can watch a show and work on something at the same time, like editing? Oh, That's why it takes them four months to get a video out. <laughs> yeah, but in the background, yeah, in the background, <laughs> you can't pay attention yeah, but I can't, to like, it. Watch while I'm like doing like actual like work. Really That's a myth. Things. You there's no such thing as multitasking. You can only split your attention. Yeah. You can't. That's do why it. I have a big screen so me. I can have videos playing while I, <laughs> I okay. There's like no you edit you picture in picture anything. on watching anime. I don't watch anime because because okay. I I refuse to listen to the dubs and it's impossible to multitask and read God, the, we're, Kevin and the dubs Japanese aren't bad. You guys, well, it depends. It depends. By, it on depends on which one. Because sometimes it, sometimes they're good, but it's like it does depend. I agree with you on the live action. It's just dubs are unacceptable almost always. Live okay, how, how about this? Do any one of you speak another language? Uh, Define speak. Define another language. So, Nigel, face. probably. Hmm? So my I, okay, Nigel my will say he doesn't, but I'll Chinese, say he does. Right? I say Nigel speaks two languages. Yeah, three. You speak, you speak Japanese too, don't you? I speak two point three languages. No, two point one languages. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Japanese being grade level? Like, are you first grade, second grade? Where's your sort of communication um, skill? If I were to actually, the best way to compare it is like, let's say an actual first grader, right? I would say that I'm okay. the equivalent of a two-year-old <laughs> in Japanese. <laughs> Barely okay. able you ask, to formulate like, you ask a sentence. For like, uh, could you ask for like chicken with noodles or chicken with rice? Because like when we I when don't know what noodles Japan, or rice. Uh, I know I know it rice. How do you say chicken? I'm, Could you say like? I don't know like what we went is. to Japan, and uh, we had just landed. We had just checked in our hotel. We were super hungry and cranky, and we went to get food. And that was like my first sort of culture shock experience, where I realized like I literally have no way of communicating with people effectively. Mm. And we went to this noodle place. It was like, I think they have the chain here, like Yasaboya or whatever. It's like the orange logo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the same chain. Um, And I was, we were looking at the menu and I was like, I'm like looking for chicken. But of course, literally none of the words are in English because I can't read Japanese. I used to be able to. Well, I mean, if you can barely speak it, I can't even imagine you could read it. Well, the reading Um, is is easy. You just phonetically know what it is. You just don't know what it means. uh, (laughs) (laughs) It's useless. So I was like looking for chicken. And uh, because Chelsea was very cranky, so I had to solve the problem. What is chicken in Japanese? Um, And I couldn't find chicken. I was like using the translator app, but like when they use fancy fonts, it like doesn't work. And so I I just straight up asked them. I was like, like chicken. Uh, And they're like, like, I think they just said no chicken. And I'm like, that was like, that was like the level of communication. I just I prayed (laughs) that they understood the word chicken in English. It's apparently literally basically chicken. (laughs) (laughs) What? They, I, is it like According phonetic, to Google like, Translate, phonetic? it's just the chicken. If you say I chicken, they'll Japanese. understand you. What? I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just chicken, or chicken? I don't know how to pronounce okay. it. That's literally it. So if you say like it, they this. get. According to Google Translate. Wait, really? Because I mean, the, it should like. Isn't there like a derivation on like the Chinese? The meat word? might be different than the animal. I don't know. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, like how there might be a... like fifteen hundred years ago. So well, it might be like how you don't go to the store or you don't go to a restaurant. Do you guys serve cow here? Like you're gonna mm. say uh... beef. Like there might be a differentiation. So they ask for chicken. They're like, yeah. you want a live chicken? In I don't Spanish, actually know. In Spanish, there's like a word for for like live fish and like like dead fish, like cooked fish. Like the food fish is different than the animal fish, I think. Yeah, I think here I don't it doesn't have the English equivalent, but it seems like there is a differentiation between like chicken as a meat versus oh. chicken as the animal. But they would know what you mean, right? Like you go to a restaurant, you ask for chicken, they'll just be like, "Hey, this guy obviously he's asking. He, we can figure out what he wants." Wait, so hey, is this true? Because like I I was I was on a kick of like watching YouTube like travel vlog YouTubers, mm, and yeah. like some of these people like like they'll go into like the ghetto in like South America, and just like they'll just hang out with the locals and like like it, obviously if they posted the video you're only gonna see like the the parts where they made it, but there was uh, one thing about like they were visiting in Japan 
and like it was clear that they weren't japanese and they got kicked out of the restaurant they're like you know like outsiders are not allowed mm, like not japanese yeah. are not allowed like is that is that we for had real? we had an experience like that i don't um, know jeez <laughs> we I, I they i mean i'm just speculating but it was kind of like the way it happened makes me think that it was you know we should make this whole episode about anime in japan and then title it that and if it does better then um <laughs> <laughs> then we never talk about science again uh we were in japan and somebody had told us it was a person that we had met who had a pet otter so i had i had like because chelsea really likes otters and so i went online and tried to find like somehow use my youtube clout to find somebody who had an otter and i was able to do it and in japan pretty in japan in tokyo wow um and so we went and met with them it was like you know maybe 20 or 30 minutes on the train um which was like it's this whole ordeal too of like just not knowing japanese of like like the train line ended at one point even though the track continued because they instead of doing one straight shot they sometimes do like a staggered where it's like you have to get off and get on the next one to keep going um so we finally get there and uh we hang out do the otter stuff which is you know it's adorable it's a little goblin thing but i don't think i'd ever want one as a pet because it's like you know it's closer to a wild animal than a dog or a cat um and uh, then they had a bunch of suggestions for us. So we kind of made these Japanese friends, which was like amazing. Like, There's nothing better than having like uh, um, an acquaintance who's familiar with the area. And they gave us a recommendation for this place near um, what's that? Sh- what's the street? Sh- sh- uh, sh- to- sh- Shibuya? To- Shibuya? Shibuya. I think Shibuya. Shibuya. They're like the, really the Hello the Kitty land, area. basically. Um, oh, and so I, I, know, I, this, I could be totally wrong. Shibuya, it's, it's like, isn't it a Shibuya? I mean, Shibuya is like they're like Times the, Square. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Shibuya. Five. Yeah, I think. Um, and there was a, a, they had told us to go to this place there. And so we get the address, we're searching for, can't find it. Finally, like, go through this weird back alleyway. It's like this, it's bizarre. It almost looked like the back entrance of like some, you know, like workshop or something. And we knock and we, basically you know say we want to eat there and they said uh like either you need a reservation or no like it was it it, to me it felt like um that they just didn't want to deal with us Mm. just give you an excuse of why you can't eat there right that was that was my immediate like it was just sort of like a a go away kind of a thing um so i might just not have wanted to deal with tourists in general you know yeah but like you know, I never had an care. experience like that. It's like, well, it's because you are less white looking than me. <laughs> I guess you look, you, you look everyone, as, but everyone assumed I didn't speak it. I think there was one person once who spoke to me in Japanese and then immediately realized I, their mistake. Okay. I've talked to other people who have like lived in Japan who say that it is a thing, like being a foreigner, like the way people will ask you questions is like, how long are you here for? not where do you live where there's like always this sort of implication of like your time here is temporary <laughs> i wonder if that's built into the language because it's like in in chinese like people who are not from there like the the actual word is like outside country person so it's just like yeah, it's like built into the language i feel like she had been there for quite some time and i think she, like she speaks japanese very fluently and i think that I think that there just is this kind of subtle, like like outsiders are not as. Like, but is there might also be a thing that a lot of people just don't stay that long in Japan because they have a lot. A lot of the people who are there working and they don't speak the language. It, it's um, not. It's not my anecdote. It's like sort of like a combined anecdote from. Oh no! I know. I'm just saying. I feel like and... a lot of people that I know who've gone to Japan only stayed a couple of years. They couldn't take it after that. The only, I mean. The only people, or the only, yeah, the only people that I know who went to Japan and stayed are my, re- like, a couple relatives who mm. are Japanese, and it's like, they already knew how to speak it, so they just went in their 20s and just never left. Mm. But to it's Tokyo like, it seems like, where? they sorry? To where did they go? They're both in Tokyo. It's just like, they didn't go there to visit. They literally, in their 20s, were like, we just want to live in Japan, and they just never came mm. back. So they weren't really going there for work. They just decided that's where they live forever. Um, but I feel like most people, at least my age who I've met, it's to teach English or it's some other thing that they think it's cool to go to Japan and then they end up 
after a few years just coming back or going somewhere else it's a very cool city uh, kevin i i don't think you have you been to japan no you no never go. been we should go when we can it's like i don't know i i think the I'm way down. i described it to people is it's almost like it has like this kind of disneyland mystique mm. to it except it's like an actual city like imagine a city <laughs> that has like like the whole country or just just like tokyo to just i mean well tokyo specifically is where we where we stayed but it was like almost kind of magical like it felt that's like, like the vending machines that's what that's what adds to yeah, the disney it was the like disney perfect. uh it was feel almost it was bad perfect. though why too much well, vending every, I bought uh, uh, a tea at every single vending machine. Um, I wanted to do a video of like <laughs> getting every drink from the vending machines. Like a hundred vending machine drinks in ten, in like five minutes, and it's just a video oh. of like you buy it, sip like a it's three second review, and then the next one. No, it was bad because like <laughs> I was like I want to try all the drinks, and one day, uh, we stopped at one. And I'm like, no way, they have coffee, coke, corn. So they have corn flavored drink. What? I think, it, I think it's yes. just or is it just corn? I don't remember, but I, I drank, think it, I think I it's straight it. up corn, like, like corn water or something. Well, like, yeah, they like also have hot corn. vending machines, so you can yeah. get like hot drinks out of it. I got but, I got like a bean drink too, a canned bean yeah. drink. <laughs> but wait, I I went and got coke and coffee, and then I drank it, and was like, oh, that's okay. Then I walked like maybe a block or two. Then I'm like, oh, they have this energy drink I've never seen, so I drank that too. <laughs> <laughs> and I just yeah, kept, ah! I just kept <laughs> drinking them every single. One of my videos. <laughs> and you it was almost like... became a, a chubby emu video. Well, no, I started like shaking. I'm like, oh god, I've Wait. had way too many. And then, then the the biggest problem is you realize that because it's not you don't think about it in real money. It's always man just became like... addicted to Japanese vending machines, and this is what happened. <laughs> but you just to put you, but you put your coins in. It doesn't feel like real money. Then you realize that you spent all your money on vending machines. <laughs> I just spent like thirty dollars on drinks today. What the hell? <laughs> I did. We because my I brother kept getting mad at me. How much? How, how much? Stop at little... everyone. Sorry. You know, you know those little vending machines, like at the grocery store, where mm, you would like put quarters yeah. in and twist it and get. St I would like raid my parents, like d change drawers and like under the couch and everything. And then when I went to the grocery store, I would just sit there in Dude. the entrance for like ten minutes, so, like that two quarters, is some twist it. ADHD <laughs> shit. If I have ever heard it, that is <laughs> that was the serious... original loot box. Yeah, you know, I would I always try to eat you know, like, like the little, yeah, little gangster ones. You know, sometimes you yes. could get like. Or like the ones that you could get like little uh, little handcuffs for your fingers or like little toy guns. I would always try to get those. And... The documentary on that guy? The gangster uh, toy vending machine guy? No. It was like the a homies. bubble. There's a YouTube homies. video. There's a really interesting YouTube video. And it's like, it's kind of sad because it's like this guy clearly had like an empire at one point. And then he, he sort of just like never let it go after it died. Oh, and he really? like still does it today. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. So speaking of anime, what yes. about uh back on topic? What about streamers watching it on stream? Oh, that's great. That's brilliant, dude. I would do it too. I don't I think I, it, I don't think that was a big deal. A I mean, I it's think it's bad, but like it's How is it bad though? Like what do you like everybody what was it I mean... Avatar? Like what are you going to do? It's like it's on TV, right? It's it, everywhere it's at this point. How it's such a can of worms and it's like yeah. Like when they say TV meta or something, like are they like streamers are like they're pressured to stream for like yeah, eight yeah. hours a day or yeah. something, right? I've done it. It's hard, dude. It's like I have this I, problem. I do it. With, like, I, like I feel sick. Like yeah. when I get up from the computer, like the lights are shining on your face for eight hours. Like I don't know when to stop. If they were I'll smart, just keep... if who if Nin if uh, Nickelodeon or whoever owns the copyright was smart, what they would do is like let anybody watch the episodes and they would just put ads in the episodes yeah it's like problem solved yeah uh, what they should do is basically create like a uh i think a, a watch along system where if you have a netflix account and there's avatar on it you can watch shows on netflix in t real time with the streamer or have the streamer sort of like a, a part of the advertising income will go or all the advertising income will go to uh netflix and then they'll just make money off of um tips and text-to-speech and donos and stuff like that uh but when instead, the ads I feel play like, like in the episode oh, or yeah. something there's what did what did uh gabe uh newell what is that his name what's the, the steam guy gabe yeah yeah um newell uh piracy i'm gonna read this quote because i really like it 
The easiest way to stop piracy is not by putting anti-piracy technology to work. It's by giving those people a service that's better than what they're receiving from the pirates. Which that's I true. have I have sailed the high seas for <laughs> I'd probably half my life, you know. I mean, everybody really. Has. When you're, yeah, when do when you're a kid, oh, yeah. What are you gonna do? You gonna go? Dude, and, I would pirate everything. Like, yeah, I can't. I can't pay twenty dollars a month for the Adobe Suite. Like, I'm in high Who, school. I don't make any money. Yeah, everybody's downloaded What's Adobe that? Photoshop CS6 yeah. at one point in their yes. life. Dude, I had all. I started oh. at CS1. So I yeah. downloaded <laughs> something one time, one time, and it was a ma mass. It, it was a virus to the point where it nuked my computer. It wouldn't turn on. It wouldn't boot. I tried reinstalling Windows <laughs> and it wouldn't install. I don't know what the thing did. That's a good one. Mm. And ever since sure? then, that I'm like, bad. all right, really I'm, I'm never downloading anything ever again. <laughs> and to this day, I only use paper and pencil. There you go. So you did, you've um, only done one illegal download in your life and you've already paid the price. No, well, here's the thing. I, di I didn't even actually get to use it because <laughs> it was a virus. And I was like... It wasn't even an actual legal download at that point. It was something to. to but here's the thing: me up. you had an intent like, to download it illegally. That is enough of I think a I was crime. Like sixteen when that happened, <laughs> right? And it was like that was the only computer I had, and it, like that, <laughs> yeah. that's it. Nuked. I have definitely, I, I have definitely destroyed my fair share of computers. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, LimeWire. Whew. I was yeah, mad. Ah, you remember the, those days, Morpheus. It's no, so I bad. I remember only LimeWire. I think Kazaa, that was like Bernard's going to have like, like you know, there's a bunch a couple of them. years they were all on at us. the same time. That sort of tech oh, was guess, changing. Yeah. The peer-to-peer -peer stuff was like really rapid. Yeah. It was like Napster at first in like 99, right? Like that was when Metallica was like going after. Yeah. It, it was I think that was a was it 99? I think okay, how old was I remember playing uh Neopets in elementary school, which was late 90s. So that means that all that stuff sort of started around the 2000s. So like late 90s, early 2000s, I think is when like the major P2P stuff, the peer-to-peer -peer file sharing kind of occurred. Because I was in like... It I was definitely before school. I was 13. So yeah, it was before, it was... it was like right at the end of elementary school into like middle school. Yeah. And so that would have been Napster around that time too, maybe a little earlier. So 1999 or 2000 seems right on the money. Remember, you could use LimeWire to download LimeWire Pro. <laughs> what were you trying to download that killed your computer? I don't even remember. It was, uh, I think it was like this video editing thing I wanted to do because like I had like this big webcam and like, like we were just, it was for like a project or something, like a school project. We were trying to do like stop and go animation with like legos and so like we were taking pictures with the this webcam and it like we couldn't actually oh. edit the video and so like we we tried download i tried downloading this thing on dial up and uh it like it nuked my computer and like i just it ended up i ended up buying it like a different computer in 99 and was I made it? a video about that computer because I still have it. <laughs> was it actually really? did it nuke your computer? Or was your computer just such a piece of shit it couldn't run the software? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a virus. Like it was malware. Because I remember it like it, it played this crazy sound. Uh like oh. when I opened like it was an EXE and then oh, like no. the sound, like I like I just I, it was like this really creepy voice. And then like all of a sudden it blue screens and you see like this like stuff like scrolling on there. And then that was it. And then uh I couldn't turn on my computer. I tried booting uh, into like Windows 98 and it wouldn't do it. I tried reinstalling with like the HP recovery disk and it wouldn't, it wouldn't install. Yeah, you probably have to uh, install like a completely I, fresh I feel like I'm hearing Windows. someone recount a horribly traumatizing yeah. event. And, like it's funny right now, but like when those sorts of things mm. happened, it was the end of the world. Yo, I was so scared when I heard that voice play on my speakers <laughs> and I'm like, what? what is that and then like you just see the stuff scrolling and i was like because i was 15 at the time and i'm just like what yeah. and like that that was it it was over like I, I didn't have a computer for like four months afterwards yep oh no that... my dad was a computer programmer so like i i was breaking my computer all the time he would fix <laughs> so it I'm like dad got another one <laughs> he's like kevin what are you searching <laughs> 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 Why are there a bunch of porn Start. pop ups and you haven't even opened the browser? <laughs> I'm looking for StarCraft wall hacks, Dad. 
Hey, that was you. Or map hacks. <laughs> that, that was, was you. Me. Oh yeah, it was like the uh, the fog of war cheat button multiplayer. Mm. Oh, you you're a degenerate. <laughs> I oh, was God, really I, bad. I, I would the, I would back, try to cheat back in, in like every the game. War days, right? I have a yeah. VAC ban on my Steam account for from six thousand days ago. I think. <laughs> Wait, twenty years ago. Up. Was it? Tw- is that twenty years? It must not yeah, be that long. Yeah, it would have been like 18, ten. Wait, th- I mean, that's like the beginning of Steam, like in two thousand four, right? Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. I pr- I that would have like... been like middle school for you, like end of middle school or beginning of high school. Yeah, because I remember playing Counter Strike Source. Yeah, six thousand seven days <laughs> since my last ban, and they won't let me appeal it. <laughs> I still can't play Counter Strike Source or Go or whatever it was. No, it must Dude, have been source. I remember I like I did something and I pissed my dad off and he like threw my computer in the trash. Oh, uh, my mom. Yeah. He just literally yeah, stuck the whole tower Game in the Boy. trash can. I had like the brick Game Boy, and uh, we had we had something called like a reading accelerator, uh, and like this was I was like a freshman in high school, like, so this reading accelerator, uh, it was like a book that you would get from the library, and then you would take like a twenty question test, and it would be like extra credit. Ex- if the you accelerated got, like, reader. Credit. Wait, I remember yeah, doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I did that yeah. too. Yeah. So I, no I, I took a is. test of a, bu- of a book that I didn't read just for the hell of it. I got a, a 5%. I got one question right out of thing. 20. I put it in my backpack. My mom went through my backpack and found out that I got a 5% on what she thought was a real test. So she got oh. pissed, took my Game Boy, smashed it in front of me, and said, you don't go failing school on my watch. And I was no. like, you just smashed my Game Boy. <laughs> and like, I was 14. I was traumatized. I was like, wait, what? Right? And I, I Were you just trying to like was, hit all, 14, like go so through as Pokemon many? had just came out. <laughs> she smashed the, the Game Boy with Pokemon Blue in the thing. <laughs> Pokemon Blue. And I had Blue. like 100 hours on there. I was like <laughs> level like 99 or 100 on like the starter or whatever. And Who's I'm your looking starter? and like, like Blast that was like the end of my life when I was 14, man. So much trauma, Bernard is just surfacing. <laughs> Who I know this is this is like child. That happened at fourteen, and then one year this is later, what you happened to her. <laughs> you lost your Game Boy fourteen, and then you lost your Mom computer at fifteen. Uses Dragon Rage. <laughs> Dragon Rage is super effective. It kind of <laughs> Game Boy dies. I guess like the biggest trauma there was. So like, what were you, you doing on Accelerated Reader? Just. Were you just trying to bang out tests as fast as you can? Just like you didn't even read the book. You're just like clicking through trying to get points. No, it was it was a joke. And like I remember there was another kid uh, in like he he like he laughed at me because he was standing behind me the whole time as I was taking this test because it was like during lunchtime. And I'm like, what am I going to do with the time? So like just take some random test about a book I never read. And like he like laughed in my face and it printed out and he like threw it at me. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So like I just like tossed it in my backpack. I didn't realize my mom would go through my backpack and real think that that would be like a real test. And she's like, you got a 5%? Uh, this is why your reading is so bad. And then just like smashes my game point right in front of me. Will, did you have an accelerated like, reader? I did, yeah. I remember I did the test on if you give a mouse a cookie. Because I like, I don't remember why I did it. I was just trying to like get points. And I think that you could... What did the points do remember. for you? I did it and I passed. You had to have so many points... Usually you, for you, like one of your classes, like your English class, you had to have so many accelerated reader points by the end of, you know, whatever, the quarter mm-hmm. or the year. And, and you could get like other prizes too. So you get like, you know, if you hit say 200 points, you would get, we you know, prizes. maybe $5 to about? spend at the school what? store. You get like 500 points. You get like a, a pizza we party with shit. the principal. Oh no, we, my school turned it into a whole game. I was on there like all the time, you know, Harry Potter books, knocking them out. I think I had like 600 points. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got even, a, I, I got an ice cream and pizza party with the principal with everyone else for that. Why like, would you semester. want that? <laughs> I was like, I don't I, know. I was trying to stay away from pizza. the principal. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, as a kid, I, you can you you can make an incentive like pizza, and the kid will put in hours of work, like an insane yeah, amount of yeah. work, dozens of hours for like twenty dollars or ten dollars worth of, of reward. I used to be so food motivated. Mm. Now I'm much less food motivated. Because you can just buy I can it. buy my it, own it, food. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just go get my own. I don't need you to get me to do three hours of work. I mean, it's, if it's <laughs> something fun, like like if somebody, if like you help somebody do something, like we filmed this video with Alan, we went to Florida and did some did this whole thing. 
And that was basically like, I was just making him buy us food. That was sort of it. Like, that's all you're paying me. You're just buying my food. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's definitely different. Yeah, it's still kind of the same thing, though. Like, you know, it's like, just give me food, but I'm not working for the food. Yeah, exactly. The food is just sweetening the deal. <laughs> the, hey, know. we need to get back on track, back mm. on anime. How did we derail this badly? We were talking about downloading stuff. The rest of this episode yeah, yeah, has yeah. to be uh, dubbed in Japanese. <laughs> Why don't you guys watch anime? What's wrong with Full Metal Alchemist? I don't have any Stupid. mechanism to watch anime. Like, I don't even have a TV. Unless maybe, like... You can watch no, it on the no. computer. Yeah. Yeah, you, can, you know, they have, they have so many anime streaming sites. You could watch anything you ever wanted online really? for free somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've... I wouldn't do it for free, though. I mean, come mm, on. You gotta... There's some no, there's, there's, there's streaming services it. for it. Yeah, like Crunchyroll, right? Yeah. Or, or whatever the oh. thing. Okay. I've yeah, but watched... not even. There's still stuff that isn't on there. Yeah, there's some weird oh. websites that I don't know how they work, but they just stream it for free. Like there was, <laughs> there were I think two shows I watched recently where I literally could not find any way of watching it other than buying a DVD that wasn't in stock on Amazon, so you had to buy from third parties for like a hundred twenty dollars. And it's like, that's the Gabe Newell thing, right? Like if you can't pay for it, I'm gonna steal it. And so I basically have. 90% of the time, 99% of the time pay for stuff. And if there's just something weird that I find that I want to watch that I can't find anywhere, I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy a DVD. Like I don't even have a DVD player. Right. But you should, I mean, why, why not? Is it just that you can't? What about you, Nigel? What? Do I watch anime? What's wrong with anime? Nothing. Yeah. I used to watch it. Why don't you watch it now? What do you watch? I don't want, I don't watch a lot of stuff right now. That's kind why, of like... What do you watch now? And why is it anime? <laughs> I don't watch very much. I watch way too much YouTube content that I don't care about. Yeah? What? I'm What's, the opposite. I watch almost exclusively William Osman and Chubby yes. Emu and Backyard Scientist videos. Podcast, podcast reruns. And Safety Third Podcast. I rewatch it. Okay, Kevin. I feel like this is like we need to have an argument right now. What? Okay. Why do you not like robot anime? It's because I. it's the same thing with you and like being able to... to like know what's actually going on in the show when they start talking about like you know galactic warp drive rocket booster are you talking feet, about you're you're listening I you're watching out. dubs no I'll, i mean even in the subtitles because i'll watch subtitles no, too don't, like, don't, I, it's not subs and dubs it's japanese with subs yeah i'll do that and i mean i I'm, I'm not really firm in this position but i mean i like to watch well, it no with, stay on your ground subs. Talk yeah right kevin now. okay back okay well here's the thing <laughs> It's I think not California's the, a stand your ground. It's the whole, it's not the dialogue. <laughs> it's the whole concept of the show. I just yeah. I can't do it. You know, other other ones that are kind of more like more fantasy I can do, but like how is I a don't giant know, the robot robots try too hard not... to be like scientific and then it just sounds stupid. But that's why that's why the I feel like subtitles help that a little bit. No, it doesn't. It's what? just as bad. Like Yes, and not, I mean, I like the old ones. Here's the thing: I like the old Star Wars because yeah. I felt like it was more like detached, and it was like it felt like you were, I don't know, like I wasn't expecting them to be good. But the new ones are kind well, of they bad. have Jar Jar. That's the best part. Hey, those were those were my jam. But yeah, all the, the giant robot ones I don't like. Evangelon, I hate it. Okay, what do you watch? Uh, What's an example? Um, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> I, oh okay. my god are you watching weird stuff and you don't want to share it <laughs> no it's not weird stuff like recently I've been watching Nietzsche Joe I don't even know how, if that's how you yeah, spell it Kevin watches some obscure crap I've never even heard of that how do you spell it Nietzsche N-I-C-H-I-J-O-U oh, okay, what is, is that this anime about? yeah what is it's about like three about? high school girls um, Kevin, <laughs> it's good. Uh, Trust me. If you guys haven't seen it, wait, it's wait, worth wait, watching. It follows the everyday lives of various people in the town of Toki Dame. It sounds stupid. It's like centering an absurd around the comedy. energetic Yuko Aoi, the bright and cheerful. I'm just. I'm not even gonna say their names. Okay. Uh, Bye. Uh, where is the talking about ensemble characters? Is there even a plot? It talks about no. the mundane character, the situations the characters go through. The plot, literally, there's nothing. Wikipedia has no. Nothing that's why it's for called Slice of Life. It's the like anime series, you know, pr the receives the most prominent story arc of this person. A uh, Nano receives the most prominent. Nano, story the arc. robot, um, or the android involves her desire to is. become a high school student, while the second half deals with the fear of being exposed as a robot. <laughs> 
<laughs> I cannot good... believe the. Can the we plot, can we play a clip plot... or are we gonna get canceled? No, we can't. Nope. We, he, we got to play it on Wait, Twitch we if we're gonna canceled? do it. We can't we do it get on copyrighted, YouTube. right? Yeah, not unless we're on Twitch. Oh, uh, you're right. They'll this the plot is literally two sentences. It's it's like day to day life for this like these these friends, but it's everything super dramatized. This is like like you watch a movie and it comes to a closure and then it like keeps going. And it's like now these people just do ordinary things. No, no, it's things like for example, uh I don't um like you go to order a coffee, right? And it's like you kind of like you're like, "Oh man, I don't know what to order." And it's kind of like you have a little, you know, panic on the inside, but in the show they like amplify that to like cr- extreme levels like a Dragon Ball Z fight. Oh my god. That would give yeah. me anxiety watching that. Does it last like three episodes and like they're just doing this for <laughs> no, that would be pretty funny. Three episodes. I um I watch the exact opposite. There, I th- I feel like there's something we should talk about though. I've actually really always wanted to talk about this. Oh no. And I don't know if you've experienced this, but it's the state of anime titties. Okay. <laughs> 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 Me and Bernard that would kill the kill like... too. That would... Kill the Kill was a good show. I have watched a couple of shows where I almost feel like I don't know what's happening, and I don't know how, like, who made the decision to like animate these characters like this. And I like, I, they, I guess it's called like fan service, where you're just essentially making like. Have you seen Kill the Kill? Will yeah, yeah. That's like the prime example of, of what you're talking. And about. And you look at people fighting each other. Like I'm talking like, like. It just, I don't, how do I describe this? Like, just horrific, horrific character design. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Where you're like, you're watching this and it's like someone made a conscious decision to, to, to just center this character around boobs. You can't, so going back to Japan, you can't psychologically profile Japan is just unique in every way, and you can't ever unique. figure that out. Is, that is such a bad word to use because <laughs> unique. it is like it is the <laughs> nicest thing you could say about how weird it is. They do. Mm-hmm. You can't explain some of the things they do. You know, you either appreciate their art or you uh, you move on. There's a show on Netflix I watch. It's all over sexualized. All of it. It's even, yes, even it for sure is. Yeah, Nishi Joe is. They do things that I'm like, and then on, they do like... this thing where like the protagonists are like teenagers, and then they just have huge anime tits that they're like, it's just, it's like you're like, I can't watch. <laughs> <Bernard. laughs> like, I'm sorry, this is like just like, <sighs> what do they call it? There's a I, thing, I feel, there's I a feel word. like I'm being pandered to. Yes, <laughs> well, you, know? you, not you specifically. Kevin's being pandered. To. <laughs> There's a there's a word for the other thing too that like it's like more controversial where they have like I am a two thousand year old wizard from outer space and they just look like a little kid but then they like you know have adult relationships and it's just you're sitting there being like this is like can <laughs> very convenient yes there's, I don't know I, I don't know is. I never really see that in the wild because i don't watch those shows yeah there's a, there's a netflix show. those, are, those are always like the fantasy action shows like one of the netflix shows that i watched that i kind of like i liked it but it just had a little bit too much of that was um i think seven deadly sins it's called yeah sandra watched that I and it's like that show it's just like oh there's a really bad one too that i just watched i think i can't remember if it was country roll and netflix but it was like uh frank something darling in the franks or something and i almost i like almost didn't i just it was it's like i can't even i literally don't want to describe it but when you watch it you're just sitting there thinking who green lit this i mean you could yeah pro- you could probably look it up and find out exactly who green lit it <laughs> send them an email ask them I mean, man, I feel like you guys should go. I should give you a list of I have not to watch, and then you watch a couple episodes, and then come the back. Last like, the last anime homework. that I followed, or that I, I want to hear Nigel describe "Darling in the Franks." The last anime I watched was Naruto, Naruto when I was like fourteen. I tried watching it, Chelsea. Yeah, I couldn't it. do that. It's just kind of it like starts off kind yeah, of yeah Naruto just, just and uh, and One Piece. I never saw. I never watched One Piece. I literally saw Naruto. All I have is Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and then if you count like Digimon, you're oh. so uncultured. <laughs> uncultured swine, Nigel. Bernard, so you your too. So, so, this is my argument. You guys are embarrassing. How? What percentage of Japanese people watch anime? 
Oh, a hundred. Probably a lot. All of them. If it's Is anything, at least all the, everybody at our age. I'm gonna look it Dude, up. Half of the shows we watch are like literally they're made for a Japanese audience. Yeah. Why would they be? My hero. Well, it, can't, my hero it literally academia. can't be a hundred percent. No, so it, it says can that be. It's, I think a it's survey in 2019 said 33 percent of people in Japan stated they often read manga or watch anime. That means it's like 60 <laughs> percent. Either way, it's literally impossible to be 100. So my argument is that I'm tell- it's 100 percent of people watch that are to be 30 years old Japanese. Younger. There's a lot of Japanese people who don't own they they have no connection with technology. <sighs> they don't have any moving picture device to watch it on. You know, I would say for me, it, it goes even beyond anime. Like, I haven't watched any of, like, the streaming shows either. Like, the only one I've watched is uh, on Apple TV, The Morning Show. I think I watched, like, the first season of that just because, like, I had just gotten, like, a, a laptop in 2019. And I'm like, oh, I can watch this on the laptop. And then I, like, watched a couple episodes. And I was like, okay, cool. Oh, my God. Do you do crossword puzzles? No. <laughs> what do you do, Bernard? Bernard? I'm trying Besides, to profile I, I think, you know, you know what kind of what kind of kills me. I was at a wedding. On, What's the name uh, of the retirement home you live in? On Saturday, <laughs> right? You know, and uh, and somebody asked me. They're like, "What do you do for fun?" And I'm like, I "Make YouTube videos." That's no, <laughs> you can't say that. But here's the thing: I can say that because I don't do it full time, right? But I mean, it's like it, it literally is I, my fun time. Brian, what do you do for pain and suffering? Make YouTube videos. Make YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> But wait, Bernard, if you made, if you spent more time making YouTube videos, then that would eventually stop being as fun. Would you be going to your day job for fun? That's a good question. I don't know. I <laughs> you mean, would just like, have no fun anymore. Because, like, YouTube affords me the chance to, to fly out to, like, other people mm. to, like, you know, film them as, like, an actor or something. Like, I, I'm going to L.A. Uh, later this year if you guys open back up. And yes. uh, William the pickle, can be in one the, of my Can videos. we do the trash that? can egg video? Yeah. Well, what do you we'll mean if Alan they open the back up? Well, I mean, it, it, the production's like, like if I need a stage, like it's mm. harder to get a stage right now in Los okay. Angeles. Right? No, I just, I just didn't. I think, I I like, think you can get on. Can we do the chicken nugget hard. video? <laughs> Yeah, yes. chicken nugget video. We're going to need the medical case first, so I'll get it right on top of eating that chicken nugget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's like, there, I mean, there's there's plenty of other cases we can get with Alan and William. Just find something right. that has to do with eggs, yeah. Or like, yeah. yeah. Pick, like, Will, sure. recommend recommend us an anime. Um, You haven't said what you like to watch. I, I, think, I think if I had to recommend something to someone, I really like... One Punch Man. I really like Full Metal Alchemist. I really like. I think it's the same guy who made One Punch Man. It's Mob Psycho is really good. They're sort of like they're oh, kind of. I think of I par- saw Mob Psycho. I think it's I kind of a, a parody of anime in general, but it also is. It like does the tropes, but it also is a parody. But it's also like it's well done. It, it's like very um, well thought out. It's like a good. It feels not, oh no like real. I I tr- This is the guy that's like the psychic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't like I it. tried. I cu- I couldn't do it. Yeah. It was interesting, but it was too. It was too. You're right. What it was, it was too over stylized. Yeah, but it's also like the art is fantastic. Yeah, it and is. the I just sort of generally like the idea of like a like a very self aware like it kind of makes fun of tropes, but it still also participates yeah. in them. I think Full Metal Alchemist is just like it's a classic. It's like a book, kind of like it's a very like solid. I think story. It's like one of the most. I don't know. I, I used to, it used to be on Adult Swim, you know, like, and I would watch it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I could never figure out what the actual story. Yeah, you got to watch it not on TV. TV does not it doesn't do justice. Like Cowboy Bebop, I just watched for the first time in its entirety. Um, that is a perfect TV TV show because it is all over the place. Like you don't need to know what happened the previous episode because it, it's just sort of like the art's really good um it's just kind of quirky and funny and weird um like a good way to pass time without having to like keep track of the arc but like something like full metal alchemist like you have to know what happened before because it literally is like the whole series is like an entire yeah you can't just jump into it right and like it it does like they do all sorts of crazy shit dude like it's like dark and like a lot of kind of totally like just horrible ideas but um, I think that it's one of the best. There's two versions too, and I think the newer one is like the better one. The Brotherhood one is like they redid it or something like that. Okay. Um, and then I like think you, yeah. I was gonna say I think Nigel and Bernard are missing out. You know, what, if they're what watching about movies. 
like well, Akira. Oh, I, I got I like got a I lot. Gonna, I got a lot of movies. I had a question. What do you watch besides anime? Me? Mm hmm. Any of you. YouTube. <laughs> anime review anime review videos. <laughs> um That's the thing. I watch so much YouTube. I like I don't like to watch YouTube. In like I mean, I watch YouTube, but like in my free time, you know, if I want to relax or something, I'll just put something so on. Wait, so when you watch YouTube, you're not relaxing? I mean, I can't just sit there and watch YouTube videos back to back like I can with TV because it's hard. You got to go searching for stuff. You got to like, you know, find stuff you're interested in I'm every just, 10 minutes. I'm just commenting because you said, I don't want to watch YouTube if I'm like, it kind of made it sound like watching YouTube videos is just well, straight it is. up work. I mean, like... <laughs> Like I just I can't sit down on YouTube and just scroll through no, videos no, forever I know what you like mean. that unless it's like mindless meme compilations. <laughs> um, Avatar: The Last Airbender is another one. It, I think that show is like a solid eight out of ten. It could be a ten out of ten, but there's a lot of like that kind of TV filler that just sort of I think drags it out a little bit too much. Um, movies, dude, do some movies. Movies are super easy. Akira. Okay, Gonzo was it was a really good movie. Gonzo, it's, it is. It's like a sci-fi anime movie where this you like die and you get transported into this video game and there's monsters and you got to like kill monsters to get points to buy upgrades for your character and then you can like if you get enough points you can get back to life. Hmm. It's like a there's, 3D anime and sounds, a lot of people don't like I it. I hate it. I hate that. Dude, it's oh really my good. God, I really hate good. 3D anime so much. I hate 3D <laughs> anything. It's, it's like garbage. there's just one studio that does all of it. It's yes, and that's people a, not a like good it or sign. they hate it. It's a machine, dude. It's like a and like it's a but neural this network. Is a, this is really good. No, no, Ugh. I refuse. Kevin, it's your bad. taste is trash. It's terrible. Welcome just try it. Welcome to the taste trash podcast. <laughs> Poor Kevin, where we taste trash every podcast <laughs> episode. Bad. Hey, hey Kevin. speaking of. Speaking of podcasts, there's uh, there's another one that's being like started up by YouTubers, some ordinary podcast, Muda. Uh huh. Right. M Muda's got uh, his, his podcast too. He's All like right. plug, but I mean Muda uploads every day though. Like I, none of us upload every day. I don't have that kind of brain power. I I, I can't do it. I, I that kind of video I couldn't do. Oh, so so here's the thing. I don't have Netflix. I don't yeah. have. Um, what is that? Is I, that I don't Jenny? Have any, I, I, I must just be living in the dark me. ages. I don't have anything. Like you, I was what? At, I was Bernard. What? Why? I don't know. I just don't have it. What do you? So what you do you don't. Do? What, what were you doing? You just before, watch YouTube videos. What were you doing I, an hour ago? Before you started. Well, before we started. Uh, well, I just posted a video, so I was uh, responding to some of the comments. Okay. Wait, sorry, and I missed that. I was looking after. at. I was looking at Jimmy. Uh, shaking his butt. What do you say, Bernard? What do you What are you guys all shocked about? Oh, I don't have Netflix. Like, I I don't. Here's the thing. Like, so I I was at that I was at that wedding, and they asked me like like they kept talking about all these shows, and they're like, oh yeah, these shows are so good or whatever, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I don't have Hulu. I don't have uh, like I have Amazon Prime, but I don't like I use it to to like get the shipping, right? <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, like I don't I, like even Apple TV, right? I I didn't I watched one show on it and I'm like, oh, cool, and like that was that. I I just I'm just living in the dark ages, I guess. I I don't know. I, no, you're you're. Well, wait, I have a question. I have a question. Functioning. What okay. do you do besides oh. your day job and YouTube? And jerking Here's off. The, right, that's it, man. <laughs> like, I, just, there, just there are days off. where I don't leave the house, and like, it's just, there's uh, just no get time. Netflix. There's no time in between that. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> oh my god! And you're trying to start new channels? He's like, I've already gotten rid of fun. Now I can <laughs> yeah. get rid of sleep. Exactly. Oh, I, I get, I get sleep. I mean, that that's no problem. But it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess you know, it's like between three channels and Snapchat and full-time work and you know at some point you're gonna realize that you've done all this and you've made money and then you never spent the money on things which is the whole point of making money and then you die and you give it to your kids and then they go but like i, I mean the point things. of doing and it and then they inherit the money. A like, 500 you know. injection molding machines <laughs> those bastards <laughs> deserve nothing more from me <laughs> i haven't had kids yet so i i don't know that they're bastards i'm just assuming that they are Oh, yeah, bastard! When, <laughs> when the when the I dad leaves, yelling. right? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 William, you're, you have full control right? over that. Oh, Chelsea said a bastard is when if you have a child out of wedlock. 
Yeah. So you have to get divorced. God, is that really a big deal? Or maybe it just used to be a big deal if you're... It, if it you're, was. It was oh. it, because, like, it's, if you think about it in context of, like, kings, right? Like, if, if you have a kid out of wedlock, like, who's the heir, uh, right? Right. Right. And, like, that ripples down into society from... Yeah, the big it makes, yeah. I, I, I've done the math, and I'm pretty sure that might make me a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it something like uh, October 10th is like the most common birthday? Because that's uh, exactly nine months from January 1st. That sounds about right. They always, they always see like bursts in population during uh, like nine months after like a huge storm to like a shut in. Yeah. A bunch of COVID babies. Yeah, Maybe. I wonder if we compare the birth rate to internet usage. Or, like, if you compare, like, data speeds, like, internet data speeds to uh, population growth, if you would see, like, as internet increases, the population decreases because people mm -hmm. have better things to do. <laughs> like, oh, browse maybe. memes. Maybe. But that's, like, correlation and causation. You could never figure that out for sure. Like... I want to talk more about anime. I mean, I mean there's got to be. Like... I'm done with anime. Watch it. Have you guys you guys watched Pokemon as a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you watched Pokemon as an adult? I haven't watched it recently. Trash. Garbage. Is it? Absolute Pokemon? Garbage. No. Yeah. I, I, I just went through and watched them. <laughs> Kevin, not bad. I Kevin really it. does have I trash watched shows. them. It's bad. <laughs> how, do you, how do you say that robot stuff's bad, but Pokemon's good? It's there's garbage. There's some... No. Yes. The first episode of Pokemon is like the only good episode. The season one, episode one. The season one. There season is some. There's some good. nuance here. Dude, Ash right? gets but, absolutely <laughs> like wrecked. No, the new one's the the first. The original one is the only one that has soul. Every the, other Pokemon is bad. The first episode of Pokemon is like the one where it's like every ten year old who goes outside needs a gun in the world of Pokemon. Yeah, there's to like trainers that want to rob If they you. don't, if they don't have their own Pokemon, they need a gun. <laughs> dude he gets his like eyes pecked out yeah the pidgeys like a tree full of pidgeys or something yeah i remember that the <laughs> team rocket no sparrows that. oh sparrows Spear yeah, yeah they dude. were the mean ones yeah. yeah i think it's the rest of them are bad though yeah well hey are, are you great. kept up with pokemon since like Gen i've tried Gen i've watched one? some and it's just it's just like just how many pokemon can we introduce every episode so we can well, well so, not not even yeah. the episode, but like the games. Like, oh I, no, I haven't. No, I. I, I see. The last I see, one I played was Gold. Once there was more I than three hundred Pokemon, Pearl, I lost interest. When was Gold? Gold was two thousand. Yeah, it's the last oh. one I played too. Probably. Yeah, I never played. And then, it. Yellow. actually, no, I played uh, one other. After there's that. a there's Gold and Silver, right? Yeah, Gold and Silver, and then Platinum was like their Yellow or their like. Hmm. Yeah. Cross cross in between. I played Pearl for a little bit. I, played, yeah. I mean, God, I was already like 20-something when that thing came out. And I'm like, what am I doing playing Pokemon? Mm. But it was fun. So why not? You know? Yeah, I, I bought um, the Switch rebuild of... Uh, not even a rebuild. It's like the, the whatever, the special edition of the original game, I think. What did they call it? I don't remember what it was called. Um, where it is like the sort of Pikachu, just modern yellow? version. No, I mean, was it yellow? I don't really remember what it was, but it was essentially the old map, uh, the very first map. Oh yeah, I know and, what you're talking about. But they like they kind of just it was like half baked. Like it kind of sucked. Like it was everything was the same, but they changed like you know like the Safari Zone. Yeah. They changed it to like something that <laughs> connects with the Pokemon slot machines. Go. Yeah, I think they got rid of the slot machines too. I think. I think sad. I remember I got like like two thirds of the way through and I was like this is stupid like sad. I don't know if you remember in the original one but like I think in the slot machines you could only get Porygon from the slot machines yes, as a prize. yeah I remember I actually I got a Porygon and I like I I grinded those slot machines and then a couple days later the hammer went right down on my game oh no, no. <laughs> back I to think the part trauma. of the magic of the original <laughs> Pokemon games was like. It's cause you know you could like trade with your friends and stuff like that. It was a lot you could more gamble. You yeah, can you literally can actually gamble. gamble. Yeah. That is the best part of the original Pokemon I mean, game. 
for but, sure. But you had to like you had to have like you know friends and like I remember. <laughs> it was like, oh, no, Bernard, no, no, no. But I okay, so okay, okay. But you, you know what I mean. But so it was like it, you had friends that also like I had a blue cartridge and then mm, friend had a red yeah. cartridge, right? And then like you know we could you kick trade their, and kick their swap ass. And, you know it was it was fun. I uh, what is it? My favorite was Doug Trio in the mm. beginning. I, I, probably like not not good anymore, but. Uh, I thought Doug Trio was good. You dig, and then nobody can hit you, and then boom. oh yeah, yeah, and then you pop yeah. up like the, like the next turn, yeah. and you knew and it was if coming your speed too. Is fast enough, you always go first, and then you know somebody you know oh. lets out something silly. Did you guys right? ever then, use like the Pokemon buffs? was a phenomenon? Like, like I don't I don't think anything else is compared to it. Yeah, then it's I think it, it is the most out. financially successful franchise of all time. It was. We it's like in third grade. I remember how popular it was. Like mm. kids were bringing their cards to school, getting in like like fights, <laughs> I like I actual battles in real game. life over like people like you know stealing my Pokemon cards. Our teacher had a Pokemon prison. If you ever saw you with a Pokemon card, you had to put them in this like glass <laughs> jar oh, and you couldn't God. get them back. And he had a collection, and like I don't know. Even like what is it? Uh, the original Super Smash, right? Like had Pikachu and Jigglypuff in it right and like that was where was a lot of people cool. yes yeah everyone just had like you know it was like mega pokemon explosion. coliseum pokemon snap yep stadium right and then or stadium uh, yep yeah look at look at uh, people are like going ham on them oh can we t- let's talk about the, the guns pokemon with guns that video just got blipped from the internet there was this it channel, got snapped this brand it's new gone. channel who made Wait, this what? video where you you have a gun <laughs> Yeah, and it was built Did we up. Play that video. Uh, no, not if we, that will get our the podcast taken down. But he, he, the video is like this is very infrequently do I see a YouTube channel where their video is like really, it's like it's like very close but not quite. And I think this is the guy's first video, at least on this channel. But it did feel like a very very like new YouTuber, and it's it's so. It's very good, and Nintendo blipped it, mm-hmm. and it was just starting to get traction. It had been posted like mid December, and it was just starting. Like we saw it at like maybe a couple tens of thousands of views, um, and then it got up to like sixty to seventy thousand views, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. Um, but it had two million views on Twitter. Oh my god! They blipped it there too. Yep. Let me let me check. I'll check when you get when you're talking about it. Dude, Nintendo is so old school and like crusty. <laughs> they are. They they really like it's pretty it's pretty bad how like, you know, they go after everybody with copyright strikes for anything that resembles anything Nintendo. And it's like they're just sitting on all this old, you know, I guess people say this old IP for all these games yeah. and I feel like there's no nothing new in anything Nintendo does. It's all kind of like it's just stupid. You know, I got the recent, the newest Mario party and you got to You know how long, like a, a 10 turn game of Mario party takes Yeah, over an hour, yeah, hour and crazy. a half. Cause yeah. it's like, you have to everything, all the little, and you feel like, like nothing every happens sentence the whole time has too. to read out. You can't skip anything. Then you have to wait for the computers to go. Yeah. It's like, it's brain dead. Yeah. It's really dumb. And, and same with breath just, of the wild. It's too the maps, slow. No updates or anything. Yeah. And that's for all all Mar- all like the Mario stuff. We were we were talking about um the Twitch streaming uh TV shows earlier and I think I like this is sort of a thought I had because I did think quite a bit about it because it is like a complicated issue where I think that you know streaming copywritten content is not a good idea and it also is kind of like messed up. Like they do it with YouTube all the time. So Twitch streamers will watch YouTube videos um and dude, if you've got a hundred thousand people watching your Twitch stream concurrently, and you go watch a YouTube video that has ten k views on it, like think about that though. You're a small YouTuber, and yeah. now all of a sudden, like this hundred thousand views only adds one view to your video. No, but like, it, they'll bring like their audience. I know, yeah, I know, I know, sure. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that generally speaking, like the idea of it is like not great. But if you look at it from like a more practical standpoint. There is benefit, but it might be difficult to look past the idea that someone is just like blatantly stealing your content for the, you know, the benefit of, oh, well, this might actually point a bunch of viewers in my direction that I wouldn't have had otherwise. 
Yeah, but so, so say with the Pokemon and the and the uh, uh Pokemane and the Avatar thing, right? Like, d- what are they losing from that? They're not losing anything at all. Well, they're losing Nothing. maybe potential viewers in the future. So it's like, no. well, no. I've already seen it. Like, I think there is benefit in the way of like if you watch part of a show then maybe that'll drive you to go actually watch the show on the platform which like increases like you know you are watching part of the show you're watching an episode of it yeah but you might go finish the rest of the show on the platform on on, like netflix or wherever whoever has licensed it i mean you might want to see you might want to see what happens in the next episode though yeah but here's here's a question so like BattleBots has this problem where people will air the fights like they'll cut the fights out of the show because like the show is like that's all 40 minutes about. but there's only like 10 minutes of actual fighting if if not less that's what people want to see right but what i'm saying yeah. is if you watch the fights on youtube you're definitely not going to go watch the episode and see all the filler BattleBots should just put the episodes on youtube with ads <laughs> but they won't make nearly as like they won't recover the cost of the show that's why TV's dying. Well, I mean, I agree. Because, I mean... You, uh, but I'm just saying, What else like, are you going to do? Pay. I, I, I can't... I'm not surprised that they watch TV shows on stream and then potentially get in trouble for it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised they're getting in trouble for it. I just think that it's stupid that they're getting in trouble for it. I know it. it's stupid, but they're also kind of stupid. It's like, play stupid games yes. and win stupid prizes. Like, you exactly. Guys, like, what did you think was going to happen? It's like, we know that we can't put, like, I was, you know, I want to show trailers of these animes. We can't put that in the podcast. It'll get, like, You'd demonetized. Like, and, yeah, it would be stupid. And yeah. taken down by five different companies. Right. It made me think, though. Like, Nintendo is super crusty and super, mm-hmm. like, it's like Boomer. Boomer City at the Nintendo Oh, office. totally. But one of the biggest things that ever happened on Twitch, like, in my memory, is Twitch plays Pokemon. Yep. If that happened today... Would Nintendo take it down? Because I don't think there is a more clear example of a use of your IP that is more beneficial to your brand and would drive more people to play your content than Twitch plays Pokemon. Aren't people interacting, like directly interacting and impacting like what's happening? Whereas... Yeah, okay. So if you're not familiar with Twitch plays Pokemon, what happened no, I, was... I'm familiar. Oh, you are? No, no. Well, I'm just going to tell it. Yeah, but tell um, everyone. Is Twitch Plays Pokemon was a stream, a Twitch stream that had a emulation. I think it wasn't emulation. It probably was an emulated version of like game, one of the, the first Pokemon games. And the Twitch chat was allowed to provide input that then would be tallied up. And I think there were a couple of different modes to determine how the voting worked where they could choose what button to press on the controller. So it's like you can press up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B. Um, and so the chat collectively played Pokemon with sort of almost like zero. It was like a hive mind where there was no like single control point. And so you ended up with like a disaster where like the names of Pokemon would be like random characters or they would go into the start menu and just start like messing the settings up. <laughs> and it, there was like no one could do anything to control it. And I, I think there were some modes that would give more like uh, finite control. But they ended up taking they ended up like winning the game somehow and I don't know how long it took. Let's see, Twitch. Played. In the original one, wasn't like the like actual Destiny himself? Like he was able to like successfully like release a bunch of Pokemon that people were like emotionally attached. to? I think so. Yeah, they ended up like yeah. like freeing Pokemon and dumping. It was <laughs> yeah. just like a total disaster. And I think it, it took sixteen days. So I don't know how many people were concurrently playing, but it says thirty six million views. And it took 16 days, 24 hours a day, and they finally beat the game, I, I think. I mean, I, don't, I actually don't even know how you beat the game, but I think it was like beating the uh, the Final Four. What, what are they called? What do they call that? I forgot. Yeah, the Elite Four. The Elite Four. Elite four yeah. And it, See, it's different. Like, the, I mean, it's like people are, are like actually playing it through the chat. The difference is that, like, I, I'll just tell you this. Like, I mean, I, it's cool when people watch my stuff on stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's awesome. What isn't awesome is like they'll go and get a sandwich and disappear for 20 minutes and then like that episode never played. So like I kind of want to see their reaction to like the video. But if they if they walked out to get a sandwich or to take a dump, I don't Mm -hmm. get to see a reaction. At least I would just want to see that. Right. It's just kind of cheap. 
Yeah, and it's like they just leave it playing on, and then no one's paying attention, and it's like, uh, okay. Like, <laughs> would it be okay for someone to just stream science YouTube channels on Twitch? So they just pull anything science-related and automatically curate that to a Twitch channel that we get paid nothing for that's monetized. If it is... If it was like what Pokimane did, I'm fine with that. But if it's right. like some, some AI-generated thing that just like yeah. plays stuff at like a TV channel, that's that's stupid. There's like no insight there. There's nothing there. They're just like obviously trying to make money with, it's just, with yeah, it's just some like other people's work. I, I mean, if, if like Pokimane's watching one of your videos, right? I mean, she's going to say something when you do like, let's just say you have a gun with a fist and it, you know, it's punching through a brick, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, something... Something like along those lines, right? I mean, she'll probably say something back to something that you do. Um, and whereas, it's like, like my queen has a... spoken about me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. She, but but she, no, it, she noticed like... me. <laughs> 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 but it, it's like if, if there's like if somebody is like ripping off your stuff, I, that, like that's a, that's completely different, right? I mean, if they're watching it, like I mean, you made it so that people can watch it, so like that's that's fine. You didn't make it so that somebody can put it on and so take, somebody else could broadcast shit it for twenty minutes and then we'll yeah. come back because they're right? essentially right? publishing your content at that point. Like they're publishing the work that you put into making a video. But I at guess. least they're I mean, adding I mean, something to it, kind of. Yeah, like the transformative yeah. thing that's written into the law or whatever. I, I don't know. So I, do you think that streaming so like, a game of Pokemon that the like chat is collectively playing counts as like, you know, they're all playing the game themselves. But it's not. It's not like a good like, experience. It's more of like a unique challenge, right? Yeah, it, it's like a. It's a unique experience, and like when somebody wants to play it for themselves, they're, they're legit gonna actually play it differently because they don't have you know millions of other people you know spamming controls, right? So do you think that that's fair for like? Do you think that counts as like fairly? It's like, could you legally do that? Where it's like we're gonna try to beat this game by having the chat do it. Like it's not. You're not like redistributing the game. You're sort of just creating like a very bizarre experience that doesn't necessarily uh, detract from people's future use of the brand. So like if you're I, playing Pokemon with a thousand other people, like it's not the actual Pokemon experience and it might actually push you to go and experience the actual official Pokemon experience. I was going to say, I think yeah. the official I thing don't... is that you don't, it's good for game creators and developers for people to play their games online which is why it's become so popular and they let it happen but in theory they can copyright strike you because you are broadcasting copyrighted assets that they've made and they haven't given you explicit permission so can you show like i like look at like i'm wearing this like it's this it's, it's weird right to right me like, because does that mean oh no well no don't like, do that <laughs> can i not you see what i'm saying like where does the line end like are you allowed well, I to think sort the, of wear the merchandise from a brand i think the difference is like i mean i think clothing is harder to do but like as in in terms of like a digital asset it's like I, if if i broadcast myself or if i stream myself playing a game it's not transformative i'm showing the game as it was intended to be you know what i mean created and i'm just using it and then broadcasting myself yeah but you can't game. transform a game either because like they they took down the pokemon with guns yeah you're not yeah. allowed to transform a game right well then but, for it, the but is that service. but but why did they take it down because at that point like it almost feels like, like it, it not even feels like that is a parody of pokemon like the fact that you're using guns to kill I think them. it's like, one of those things they're not they, using yeah. the Pokemon oh, characters yeah, totally. to I think make he their could own game. Challenge it in court, and then then he would have to find out what they deem to be. Because like, like, what if what if your narrative it, was like, oh, we like you know, man, Pokemon is crazy. Like if you're walking around in the wild and you don't have your own Pokemon, like these things will actually kill you, which is a huge plot hole. Which means, like, if you're walking around in the world, like, you should be able to defend yourself. And so I'm going to make, you know, a Pokemon game where you won't die walking outside of your I, house. And it's like Pokemon with guns. At guy. the end like, of the day. A, you're, you're making fun of the series. But at the end of the day, he used, in Nintendo's opinion, uh, Pokemon IP, right? Like, he used actual but, but for Pokemon. parody, you have to. Yeah. Yes, but here's the thing is fair use is a legal defense. It's not a right. So it's like... You have to defend that in court. So they can still take it down. You can contest it saying it's mm. fair use. And if they reject you contesting it, you have to that's bring where them, this. That's where this have, is broken. You have broken. to fight so it in court. They should be able to prove. They should have to be able to say that it's not fair use. Uh, yeah, I think I so. Mean, because it's punching down. 
It's they they can control but, anything but, they want to. If they put a strike on your video, if they yeah. want, if somebody but, wants Kevin, to take down your video, it's gone, who, and then you have to appeal who de- it. Who deter? So I agree, but it's like, let's say you are Nintendo and you have thousands of people a day. You literally cannot. And then it's like, who do you prove it to? Twitter, YouTube. They're they're not a legal entity, so it's like they're not actually able. Yeah, probably. I'd have. I'd say it has to go through some sort of arbitration with with YouTube. I think what would but happen so is that... You, I'll say this quick. So YouTube... What, and that they have to pay for it. But YouTube, what they do is, and all the other services, is when they're receiving, what, 8.6 million copyright requests a day, they just go, okay. <laughs> like, they're just, they just, they they're just the middlemen. They can't, they, there's no way to handle all that. What about people who abuse it, where they're, like, consistently getting denied? Like, where they claim music was used, or they claim something else was used, and... Like, you know, let's say 90% of their claims end up getting denied and the, you know, 9% get, um, like, uh, not only denied, but they, like, I'm trying to think of how to say this. Like maybe 1% actually go through mm. it positively. It's like, imagine, yeah, 90% get immediately appealed and rejected. 9% actually go to court and they lose. And then 1% they win. So 99% of the time they fail. There's, I, I mean, there are supposed to be laws against the abuse of the but, system. Yeah, but that's but there's like not. No, like it keeps yeah. happening. I think that's a bigger problem. These shell companies will, with a name that does, you can't figure out where the hell it's coming yep. from. There's will no go context in and for strike it. videos, and people will be looking at this like, "What are you talking about?" Like there was, I, I just, you know, I see it all the time where they're making videos about the like the like Spider Man, but it's not even talking. It was like talking about Andrew Garfield. I don't even remember. It was like someone tweeted. I saw it. And they were saying it was being strike stricken, even though it didn't use any footage from anything, any of the movies or trailers or anything like that. It was just talking about maybe like, you know, the past Spider-Man movies, like the old Spider-Man movies. Like yeah. they didn't even watch it. It's it's messed up. Because like to me, the Pokemon with guns, like the worst thing that guy did, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they used animations and models from the games. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I can't watch it now because it's taken down, but. I think that they used they reused assets because people have done that right where they'll pull that assets from the game. Yeah. And so even if it's a parody, I think that crosses the line where if you're going to do a parody, you have to do you can't use other people's like, you know, that might be the only the reason they were able to do it because yeah, it's kind of like if you were to be like, I don't oh, think no, I don't think it got there. Hmm? I think they just did a copyright strike oh, and just got to, to actually get to the trademark or to get with the infringement of the, the you, um, what would you, I don't know, what do you call that? Like the yeah, they just did a takedown notice. I'm pretty sure. No, I, I know, have to go to court. In theory, somebody's supposed to, somebody at wherever they requested it's supposed to look at it and probably. Like first it's a cease and desist, then they take you to court. I'm just saying that somebody, when they filed it, probably looked at it and went, oh yeah, it looks similar to Pokemon. Okay. And it's Nintendo, so. Uh, I mean, I we don't want to get sued by Nintendo. Thing. Let's just take it down. Yeah, it's definitely... My uh, guess is uh, they don't want a video of this being on the internet. It's not that it's not yeah. fair use. It's that they don't want this like... Oh, no, that's absolutely Pokemon Nintendo's main shot reason. To death. <laughs> Why don't they go after all the Pokemon Rule 34? They can't stop that. They don't want that. to bring attention to it. That'll it's bring it's to, harder to... It's harder the Barbra to... Streisand effect. Yeah, like, stop exactly. making Pokemon porn, and then they... Uh, like, the Pokemon <laughs> porn production tenfolds, and then they're sitting there surprised with Pikachu face. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're honestly not aware of it did you know that speaking of netflix or uh nintendo being boomers you used to not be able to upload game footage of nintendo to youtube oh, yeah. you had that. to like you could first you couldn't do it then you had to like sign up for netflix or nintendo's like special program where you were like allowed to do mm-hmm. it they gave you permission to do it if you like filled out forms and registered to do it and now now you can do it I don't this know man do. up, uploaded so. Nintendo gameplay. This is what happened to his bank account. <laughs> you know, it's, you know it's, what's funny? It's like sitting curated. in like corporate, like corporate meetings, like there's definitely people who will come. Like you, you see that it's happened in the meetings where like ideas like that get thrown out. And like it usually just takes one person to agree with them for the whole room to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I think it was a UPS commercial you're, like you're just like kind of like sitting there, ago. like especially if you're junior, you're just like. No, that's like the worst idea ever, <laughs> but like, okay, you guys go and do it. <laughs> sure, why not? Do you know how much money? Like, there's two games I can think of off the top of my head that have absolutely minted. They've like, they've made people rich because of online content. Fall Guys and Among Us. Oh, yeah. Like, how do these, Those how does Nintendo recently. not see that? Like, they do maybe finally, but like, 
those games were literally made by streamers. Yeah. So how do they not see it? I mean, I, I'm just going to say, like, because they're in a position of stability that mm. to them, the risk is probably outweighs the benefit of doing that to them. I, I, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying from their perspective, because they've they've built up what they've built up for, you know, what, 40 years at this point? Right. Like that to them, it's probably more of a risk is, is how they see it. I, like I, I said, think, I'm not mm. saying that's right. You know who but... works at Nintendo still? The same people. The exact same people, and they're not going to change because they're a bunch of old, <laughs> crotchety. I was going to say, I just think executives. I think that there's like a thing too where I feel like it's a thing that when people really get into very deep into, I'd say like whatever uh, business culture that they're in, is like some of them are probably sitting there just being like they want to make more money, and they go, "Well, no one's going to use our content without paying us," so it's like. That's kind of where they get stuck. They're like, no one's going to broadcast our intellectual property without us right. getting a cut. And then, yeah, you get the, the Bernard in the room being like, but, but they're giving out free advertising. And they're like, no, right. no, they can pay us and give free advertising. But then just the result is nobody does it. And then it kind of just I've, no one I've sees their stuff. I've experienced that working with bigger companies just sort of as a creator, like mm. dealing with bigger sponsors. And I've talked to like, like Simone has had sort of some interesting insight to this where she, I don't remember who they were working with. It was years ago. And her sentiment was like, and this is Simone Yetch, uh, the queen of shitty robots, <laughs> or yep. I guess, I don't know what she, the, just doing whatever she wants now. Doesn't want that title anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, bleep that part out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, everything, ride or die, baby, unless one of us says something really bad. Um, then we just cut it. <laughs> well, so uh, I, I remember you'll never even Simone know. Simone was like starting her videos back in like 20. This was before I was on YouTube, like 2013, 15. 2014. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Hey, well, she and, said yeah. basically this big company hired her for a campaign and it was like on her channel and some others. I think it was like some commercials as well. And like her, her general consensus was, why did you hire me if you're not going to use my expertise? Like, why are you controlling everything I do? If that makes oh. any sense. Does that make sense? Like, like somebody hires you and I see this all the time and they're like, we want to do, we want to work with you, but then they start telling you everything that you're supposed to do, yep. especially if you're making content for your own channel and you're sitting there looking at them like, I'm sorry, why did you hire me? <laughs> and how do you think I got here? Do you think I got here because I have no idea what I'm doing? Or do you think I got here because I've like figured out how to make something that people enjoy watching? And now you're telling me yeah. that I'm doing that wrong by telling me what to do? Like, what? There's a sponsorship uh, that went horribly south that I Are really, you... at some point in time, want to talk about, but I don't think it's been enough time. Is it the the one with all the robots? Yeah, it's the one with all the Yeah, I've heard this story. Yeah. And it was like, I was like, there's two video, two separate videos that we did with this, like for this company. And the first one, they didn't like. It is now like the second most viewed video on my channel. They didn't like it. And so I said, okay, like I'll cut it out. I'll cut all the sponsored bits out and I will uh, give you guys a different one. And we pitched them a couple other ideas. One of them being testing robot vacuum cleaners. They really liked it and I said, okay. So we bought all the robot vacuum cleaners and then um, they kept delaying and delaying and delaying. And the video ended up getting posted six months later because they just, they kept trying to tell us that things were wrong with it. And they said, oh, like you have to put a disclaimer here and you have to do this and you have to like blur this person's shirt. Like they wanted me to blur a t-shirt because I had a picture of Godzilla on it. And it was like three minutes of footage that would have had to been like manually blurred. Like just, it, it would have been like a nightmare. Um, and they finally, like every time they would make a change, I would just change it in a way where I like abided by their change, but sort of reintroduced what they malicious were actually compliance. complaining about. If that makes sense, like totally malicious compliance because it just started getting yeah. ridiculous. And at some point they said, you know what? We don't care remove us from the video and we'll pay you the entire sponsorship fee. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh man. I think what's also, but that video so, is like, like now that is like the top five or six most viewed video on the channel. And I'm just sitting here like, this is like, we're talking like a 10 million view video. Well, yeah. it, it's kind of like, I mean, you've talked to this before when, uh, you would do a much more integrated sponsor and then they send, they don't send back their comments on the video. Aren't like, 
oh, this part made our brand look bad or this was like yeah. no good. They go, your joke here wasn't, we didn't find it to be funny. Could you reword yeah. it or take the joke out? Oh my out? God, yeah. And it's like, they'll have like eight comments and you're just like, why are you hiring me? Why are you getting me to do this if you think my jokes suck? And they have like, they're like, <laughs> they're like giving you writing services on how to, oh, oh, we didn't think this part of your video was funny or like flowed. Can you rework the structure? It's kind of like, that's not, I wish they'd give me more of that. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's like, wait, share, let I get share, a free let me share writer. One. <laughs> I know. I'll share, right? no, I'll share one. This quick. Kevin, you don't want it because what happens is if you follow, I've never had to do this because uh, I've never really did like a more integrated one, but it's like if you followed all of their suggestions, your video would be horrible because they didn't, they want you to basically become the most, you know, uh, family friendly, like, and they just they literally are making your video in the worst way oh, yeah. possible so it's just like oh i know i mean i'm not talking about the whole video oh. just just the ad you know because they give you like a couple of things that they want you to say like you've got to say the, the you know visit the website <laughs> what, with this kevin code. it's what to you've say done, it's what you've to done fully <laughs> integrated videos though kevin i feel like you and i are the only ones who have done fully integrated with the brand like the concept of the video revolves around the brand i think yeah. that's okay that's though. hard I th but i think it's... that's okay i just think that at the end of the day they have to let you do you Whereas if they just yeah, basically that's, make that's it, what they though, don't like is it doing. like it's not producing? It's like we, you know, it's like right. Here, I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll, give, you, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. Like they're all. basically give you one just example. hiring you to make a video for them, and it just and then if you made it their way, you would get like time. ten views on the video, and everyone would hate it. Yes. Okay. Here, it's actually here's, bad here's, for them. Here's an example where I think it's okay for me to sort of share the whole story. Um, this is Michael Reeves. And it was his, uh, I did one too, a sponsored video with Amazon for season two of The Boys, which is a good show. You should watch it. I really like The Boys. Um, they're not sponsoring. Yeah, they're, they're it, is, not. it is a good show. I have watched the show before they sponsored us too. Um, and they told Michael to do whatever he wanted. So you're dealing with an ad agency. So there's a couple of people. Like you have a show that has money to promote. And they're like, okay, let's find some people that we think would be a good fit. There's like, oh, this, this, kid, this crazy goblin creature on the internet that makes robots, <laughs> Michael. Uh, let's have them do something and they're like laser the laser babies like destructive and you know kind of on brand so they said do whatever you want and so he like did this whole draft of a video he gave it to them and then they they came back and they said anything except this <laughs> <laughs> like somehow they gave him free reign and he came up with literally the the something. thing that offended them the most did did any like for did any fraction of what he proposed make it into the final cut? Yeah, it's definitely like I mean their changes weren't even necessarily bad, which is part of the problem. It's I, I, <laughs> the issue I, was they had pitched an idea to him that like, they had this whole plan of what he should do in the video, and then his video essentially turned into making fun of their plan. <laughs> but I always find it funny like this is <laughs> they were so mad. This is the thing like if someone hired me on or paid. For something on the my main channel it's generally yeah. i mean I, there's no swearing it's pretty pretty family friendly but it's like when you hire michael you can't be <laughs> don't you, tell him you like, do anything you, you want like you can't tell him to do like you're i don't first of all it's like how do you watch his videos and then hire him for that and then you're surprised by what you get like it doesn't exactly. make any sense they didn't watch his videos they see the numbers that, that's why i i i think that they definitely I think that they did. Bernard, you have I to think watch they at least definitely one had to have video. watched the videos. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, like from their perspective, like they this is a this is the wild west to them. Yeah. So I mean, you know, like they probably they just looked at the sheer numbers and like, oh, okay, how about that that person? Like, <laughs> this they, was bigger they than they get that, back though. a Michael this video was... and they're just shocked. Imagine yeah. Nintendo being like, hey, can you promote Pokemon <laughs> Arceus? And then they get Pokemon Gun instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, that's a great. I I think that, that is a, that that is a, campaign, a, great a very successful campaign. Um, yeah, I I just the kind of feedback, like like here, I'll give you an example. So for the Roomba pudding videos, the video where it was everyone had a Roomba and it was a competition to see whose Roomba could like perform the best in these horrible situations. Um, when we put knives on them and balloons, one of the notes they gave is like, oh, you have to put a warning on this that says that it was done in a controlled environment. So like mm -hmm. like little robot vacuum cleaners driving around with knives taped to them required a warning <laughs> on screen. <laughs> and I'm like, 
you know, I, I have to listen to it because it's like the legal team, their legal team is saying this and it's like, yeah, I guess technically. So what I did is I put the warning label on everything that had the robots in it. And so there was warning labels when they were sucking up Cheerios. There's wow. warning labels when they have knives taped to them. There's warning labels when they're driving around in chocolate pudding. And it just like, I feel like, you know, I can be a little bit of a nightmare to work with, but <laughs> also if you give me stupid feedback, it kind of like, dude, I'll say I had to put a warning label when we stuck. Like I also did the, the video for the boys. I had to put a warning label when I stuck the baby in the dryer. <laughs> it's a doll. It's a baby <laughs> doll, and they wanted a warning. Label. This is the legal team too. This isn't the creative department that you're talking to ninety percent of the time. This was the legal team. Just, comes back after the video's yeah. done, and they say you have to put a warning saying don't put babies into a dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I just it it makes it funnier though honestly it, to have that on the screen. <laughs> it reminds me though of like for example it, did, it worked good. Like my video where I uh do, do stuff with piranha and like I dissolve chicken. It's you'll get comments where someone goes, "Where's the warning to tell people this is dangerous?" I'm like, "The the video is about <laughs> dissolving Danger. chicken." Like the, it's like why would you need a warning that the solution is dangerous? Is that not built into the entire topic? The friends like, "What if someone doesn't know it's dangerous?" After watching, like they watch it and then try to make it, and they don't know it can burn you. It dissolved chicken. Like, I know, I know. But you still feel like, do I, I have to put a warning because somebody might make it? And then, dude, for the longest time, everyone was putting little disclaimers at the bottom of their description where mm. it was like, "This video is for entertainment yeah. purposes <laughs> only." That's like, so oh, stupid. Yeah. That, that would it's never so hold up anywhere. That's it's, just like one of those Facebook it, memes of like, like reshare this if you don't want Facebook to share your data. Well, <laughs> that, just, uh, that exactly. Percent of you aren't subscribed. It reminds me <laughs> exactly of when you get an email from somebody and it says like at the bottom, it's like, "This is a confidential email. Like no one's allowed sharing it." I'm like, "Do you think anyone who's actually wanting to share this is gonna listen to anything?" No. I'll just tell you in the, in the corporate side, like if you let legal run the show, like you'll never you'll never get anything done <laughs> because it's just it's true. Uh, you yeah, never get I mean, anything it, done by by playing it safe. The thing and is, I have status they quo. aren't wrong right, and for being concerned. They're not wrong, and, and that's because the they do, yeah, you, and, people and, do like, get sued for that. There's uh they basically their job is CYA, right? And it's like if, if you want a CYA for everything, like you basically What's a CYA? Cover your ass. <laughs> okay. Well, it's because if you, you keep doing stuff ass. like that, eventually you might run into a problem. Yeah. Okay, here's here's like maybe a general description of how a legal team will work. You're a company who makes chainsaws. <laughs> you make this product, you do all your testing, you do all your branding and marketing, and the legal team comes back and it's like, can we can we remove the chain from them because it makes it kind of dangerous? Wait, what? <laughs> Kevin, it's it's just silent. The, the legal team tells you to take the chain off the chainsaw because it's dangerous and somebody might sue you because of it. No, so they sell chainsaws. They they meet in the middle no ground. They just, just they give warnings. Like, oh, do they really? Do they? No. Well, I'm just saying, like, that's if the legal team had their They're, way, they would yeah. literally tell you to take the chain oh, yeah. off the chainsaw. And or and you're selling a product that doesn't the work. Assumption of risk. What they actually do is meet yeah. in the middle ground and just say, "Don't touch the chainsaw with bare hand while it's running," and you're just like, "Wow." <laughs> I'm so. No, it'll just say don't touch it at all. Don't touch the chain. Do <laughs> no, not like, touch the chain just, with a hand. Yeah, it's, it's like do not touch while it's running. It's just like okay. So I've I've never done like a like a fully integrated video, um, and like <laughs> I I can just imagine like, you know. In corporate, you know this. Yeah. I I, I mean Every it's like time... the, the culture, culture is not compatible, and like you know it. You need like there is some there's a degree of incompatibility. Uh, you know, in the creator space versus like, Oh, it's complete incompatibility. Corporate. You need a very strong management team. So like whenever we do this, there is like, you know, like my manager is really good and he deals with that stuff of basically arguing with them and telling them that that's stupid. Um, and even then every time we're done, we say that was a mistake and we should never do it again. Uh, yep. because the amount of time you spend going back and forth to deal with this brand, trying to like cover their ass and protect themselves, even though they hired you to begin with is the same amount of time it would take you to just do, you know, normal videos, like multiple normal videos with, you know, a more casual sponsor on it. Mm -hmm. And so there's really like, you might get paid more for the fully integrated, but like, who cares? You could just do, you know, smaller stuff with less pain. It's just, it's kind of cool though, to be, have the opposite, the opportunity to work with Amazon. Yeah. Or that's, you know, that's Universal, we did, yeah. Like you, the video we did with Universal, they gave us a really cool opportunity. We got to go train at the stunt studio 
for Keanu Reeves trains for everything. And so that one actually wasn't also that bad. There is a bit in the video there where I complain about not being able to show a picture of the of Keanu training there because they don't have the legal agreement from him to include a picture yeah. of him. Even though I had yeah, permission the from the photographer who had taken the picture, I didn't have a release from Keanu and they couldn't get it. And so I literally redrew over the picture in, in Microsoft. You should, you should have tweeted him and asked for permission. It just it like it just doesn't. You can't. You literally can't. It's just too much work. So it's it's incompatible. And if you ever get the opportunity to do it, like unless it unless they give you an opportunity, mm. I wouldn't do it. Like we did one with the US Navy, which was like an amazing experience. Like you it still had its own nightmares, but like that was surreal being able to like go on base and like see an aircraft carrier and go on it in person. Like that was crazy. Yeah, I feel like unless it gives you an opportunity, if they're just like Oh, this is fully integrated, so you're going to get paid 50% more than you normally do. It's just the amount of nightmares involved is just mm -hmm. not worth it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, you, you pay for, you pay for oh, that. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, you that's why that that's why pay. they're paying you yeah. more. But if you get an opportunity, like going on an aircraft carrier, that's what you want on, right? Yeah? Yeah, it was aircraft carrier. Yeah, and or doing like the, the stunt training. It's like you wouldn't be able to do that otherwise. So it's like almost they're paying you more to do something yeah more interesting yep i just don't it's, like i mean i don't know i wouldn't do a fully integrated. it doesn't really fit your channel nigel like it doesn't really fit like i feel like kevin and i are going to be more likely to, to be able to like work something like that into a mm. video yeah dude like if i got sponsored by anime i remember alan sponsored by, by anime <laughs> he's sponsored by anime he got sponsored by crunchyroll for uh my hero oh, academia yeah. My Hero, My Hero Academia is like a stereotypical garbage anime that yeah. I will watch, but it is garbage, but I'll watch it oh, because even. it like, I, my, Hero, my, my Hero Academia is kind of like my, like, I don't want to say perfect, but it's like, it's just, it's sort of trash. I mean, it's not sort of trash. It is trash. It's definitely super fan service. Um, but it's like just sort of disposable. You can just like veg out and watch it. Give me lots of angry comments now. Oh, that's fine. Fight me. Everybody that if if you watch My Hero Academia, it's not it's, good. Anyone you, who says it's good, I is know an anybody idiot. that thinks it's good. I yes. mean, it's a joke. Every even between everybody that watches it, they know how stupid. And but I watch it <laughs> <laughs> on our Patreon post. We're going to watch a Darling in the Franks. Big clips, old and I want anime. To get, absolutely, <laughs> I would love to see Nigel's face. <laughs> when he watches, we're going to pull some of the clips. I, I'm just going to find a YouTube compilation. For anyone who uh, isn't going to listen to the Patreon, thanks, Bernard, for being on. You can go check out his channel. We'll see you guys on <laughs> Patreon. Yes. Bye.